If you're like myself and always prefer to change oil in your car by yourself to either save money or to make sure that the job is done right or simply for personal enjoyment, there's one very important thing that you may not be doing yet that may potentially save you a lot of trouble and money in the future. And as a matter of fact, race cars and airplane mechanics do this at each routine oil change. Hi guys, I'm Victor and welcome to my DIY time channel. Here I teach using easy and simple step-by-step -step instructions how you can fix many issues with your car, save a lot of money on car parts and labor, and hopefully feel good about your accomplishments and about learning new skills. If you are not doing this yet, consider this. After each oil change, carefully cut open the filter and examine the condition of the oil and check it for presence of any debris, metal shavings or contaminants. This will give you a very good idea of what's circulating inside your engine and may give you some early warnings of a potential future problems that can be proactively taken care of before it's too late. Keep in mind, it's very important to cut the oil filter properly. Do not use a Dremel, grinder, hacksaw or any other tools that can introduce metal shavings and particles into the filter because you will not be able to accurately assess the condition of the oil. Instead, it's best to use a special oil filter cutter tool to get it done right. I'm personally using this filter cutter made by Long Acre Racing Products, but there are many different brands and designs of this tool, ranging in price anywhere from $30 to $80. And if you would like to check them out, I'm going to post a link in the description area below. This particular filter cutter is very well built and I would even say a little bit overbuilt for such a dirty job and regular garage use. It's got lightweight brushed aluminum body painted red and the quality of materials and craftsmanship is superb, no doubt here. I think it's a very good looking tool. On top of this tool there are two bearings that are designed to hold the filter and they allow it to rotate at the same time. There are two positions for these rollers to accommodate for different filter sizes. I moved mine to the lower position because my car uses small oil filters. On the other side we have round stationary blade on this platform that can be moved up and down by twisting the handle. The nice thing is that this blade is removable and if it gets dull after some time you can turn and use the opposite side of the blade sharpen or replace it if necessary. Now let's take a look at how it works. I just recently changed oil in my car. Let's take an old filter and wipe it clean using a paper towel. Next we're gonna insert it between the rollers and the blade. And then by twisting the handle we're gonna apply a little bit of pressure on the filter can and start turning it. Since there's still a small amount of oil inside, I like to hold the filter upside down to avoid making a mess. Gradually increase the pressure of the blade as you turn the oil filter to make it cut easier and more evenly until you cut all the way through the metal. All right, now we can open the filter can and examine what's inside. Let's carefully take everything out. First inspect the condition of the engine oil and make sure it doesn't have any sludge, foreign objects or discoloration. Next, take a look at the filtering material. Now 
make sure you don't find any shiny metal pieces, powder or shavings that could be an early indicator of a catastrophic engine failure, especially if your engine already makes some strange noises or doesn't run properly. And if you do end up finding anything like that, you may want to get your engine checked as soon as possible. Another good reason why you may want to consider getting one of those filter cutter tools is ability to test and compare different brands and models of engine oil filters. You're going to be able to find out and see for yourself which specific oil filters have the best built quality and filtering characteristics. All right, I hope this was helpful. If you got interested, you can check out the links for some of those filter cutter tools in the description area below this video. Also, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.